Greetings, fellow nerds. Welcome back to another MTG Nerdful video where we are doing some more Midnight Hunt Standard. Um, you know, I've been, again, if you haven't seen me recently, it's because I'm more active on Twitch. Uh, give me a follow there. I actually do a lot of giveaways, um, usually codes, but I'm doing some extra stuff recently. So um, check out the description, follow me on Twitch. I'm live usually Monday through Thursday. I'm going to try and throw in some weekends there, but we'll kind of see. Just doing a lot of stuff, getting a lot of stuff together. We're doing some exciting stuff. So yeah um i'm showing you guys today kind of my take on a world tournament deck um so hopefully you guys will enjoy it um be sure to subscribe hit that thumbs up notification bell whatever helps you um so this is is it dragon's spells um one key note i'm not playing armor's epiphany that's not really how this deck wins um i didn't feel like i had space for it just the way i wanted to play it. it's it is a creature deck at the end of the day um spells do matter but in, in the end, it's a creature deck, so I didn't really feel the need to play Aron's Epiphany, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, let me show you what we're working with. So we got four play with fires, just a very good card against creature decks, and even against control mirror matchups, um, I can throw it to the base and scry, so it's not like the worst card to play. Um, test of talents here to, um, if there's a problematic instant sorcery that I just know I don't want to see, um, I can play, um, test of talents and just get rid of it. Um, so I think it's a, actually a very underrated card. Um, uh, four dragon's fire, of course, um, can hit for three, sometimes more. Three magdas, uh, magdas really good just cause I can get, um, ramp a little bit, but also if I have a lot of treasures for whatever reason, I can, uh, get a dragon. Four Smoldering Eggs, um, nice two drop, nice blocker. Three Expressive Iterations, <laughs> this, there's a reason this Uncommon is worth more than rares these days. Uh, three Prismari Commands, which um, all these modes are pretty solid. Two Prismari, I feel like Prismari's kind of disappeared uh, a little bit, but I think he's still very good in this deck, because we're, again, we're more a creature heavy deck anyway. Two Desert Dooms, four Gold Spans, and three Inferno. So again, big, big creature deck. Then we got two Magma Opus, which uh, we can, if we're flooded, great. If we're not, then we get to ramp. And then we got nine islands, three Den of the Bugbears, uh, seven mountains, and four pathways. Um, so yeah, um, fun deck overall. Um, again, it's just kind of my take on it. It's, you guys know me. I mean, if you've been around for a while, you know I'm a creature deck kind of guy. I'm not really into control like pure form of control i guess i should say um i've just not been particularly ever good at it um i just like summoning big dumb things all right so you guys know what we're gonna do we're gonna mulligan again the first game is probably gonna end up in a loss that's usually how these recordings work so you know it, it is what it is at the end of the day and uh we just gotta roll with it we just gotta roll with the punches all right it's not a big deal just we take we take the L, we move on. But hey, this is a solid hand. I would have loved to keep this naturally. Um, but uh, we'll just uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll see what we can do here. Looks like our opponent is also playing Prismari, so I'm just gonna kind of get aggressive here with Magda, kind of kind of force the opponent to. Uh, be a little bit more reactive. I may need to hold Test of Talents for um, Aaron's Epiphany. I do suspect that card to pop up at some point. I do see a Cinderclasm come out. Uh, interesting card. Um, and I mm, put one in my hand. Put one in my library. And unfortunately, I can't play the mountain, but it actually works out pretty well. Um, I don't need to kind of worry about a whole lot right now. Um, but losing the Magda did hurt. Um, and I always seem to run into, like, the decks that, like, really some somehow counter me in a certain sense. Because I don't expect a Cinder Classroom. So, <laughs> not really sure what that's about. But, hey, we're going to do what we can. Um, get a Mag Mag another Magda going. It's actually great. Um, if the opponent plays a spell that I just don't want to see in the near future, I can test the talents it right away. Um, again, I want to probably hold it for Arwen's Epiphany. That's probably my goal, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I have a little bit of time. I don't need to kind of punch test of talents, but since I'm only playing three as opposed to four, it is something to consider. Um, 
sure. I, I, you know, that's that's fine just because um, I'm not going to worry too much about um, uh, spells that uh, are going to hit like that. Um, and now we have um, a Desert Doom to help us out a little bit, so um, this should kind of put us in a situation where we just apply pressure. Now, I am running out of resources, so just uh, I do have to be a little cautious, but um, we're not doing too bad. Um, we're at the point where Aaron's Epiphany is going to... Kind of, uh, yep, there we do see that. Okay. So, I just have to be a little bit more careful, though. Um, do I draw another Desert Doom, which isn't the worst? Probably not something I wanted to draw right now, but it's fine. Draw another test. That's actually really good. This may vault me in the lead significantly I may be actually in a very winning position here because so I can counter probably both this and the Arwen's Epiphany um, which I think I'm going to do so my first hope is that he just hard casts an Arwen's Epiphany, but if he does this, I'm also okay with that. I may also just allow this to resolve and then just counter whatever he's attempting to copy. Although, actually, maybe not, because then he still gets the first copy off. Okay, I may actually have to counter both now that I think about it. Um, sure, that's fine. You can... I'm not the biggest fan of you getting that much treasure, but, you know, Test of Talents can be... You've already played one copy, so... My thought process is, he's already gotten one copy off. Might as well let him have the rest for now. It's not it's not too annoying. It's something I can work around. So I think I'm okay. So And he still hasn't really answered Desert Doom. So, um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy. There's the Fortel. Okay. So this is, this is going to be huge. The next play is going to be very important here. So let's just, let's just smack dab to get in there. I do expect the this and Armin's Epiphany to go off, so if I can kind of just control that board state, I think I'm okay. Interesting. What are you going to copy? Question is, what are you copying? Okay, so I can counter this. Get rid of that one. You only had two copies, really? All right. He does get a copy, but I kind of like this. Yeah. Um, play this. And we're good! Uh, yeah, I like this position. Um, and it's not also nice to know that an Arn's Epiphany is not going to occur, at the very least. And if he does hard cast it, I easily test the talent it. So, I feel like I'm in a really good position here, actually. So, um... I actually think I have the winning board state at this point, so... Um... I feel really confident. Because he can, if he wants to remove my board, he'll have to copy and then play Crusher Giant once again. And that, that actually doesn't even kill the Desert Doom. So I could even just let both of them resolve and say, like, sure, do your thing, man. Have fun. Okay, so that's a saw it coming. To keep that in mind. So he has a two mana counter spell. 
How do I want to go about this? I think I actually want to launch play with fire here. Probably lets it just all gold span dragons. Fantastic. Um, I think he'll basically be forced to counter the gold span dragon. Um, because he loses. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, that actually puts me in a weird position. But I think that's okay regardless. So here's I saw it coming. I kind of need to draw. I actually need to draw. Oh, I wish I tapped that better. I Yeah, I actually tapped that incorrectly. I, sometimes the auto tap just really hurts you in the wrong way. Um, but got to do what you got to do for now. Should need to draw a blue mana like right now oh. dude <laughs> this is the luckiest i've ever been um okay one two three four five six seven eight okay yep whatever he plays next i probably just straight up counter it um oh okay nice play actually um I still get to, at the end of the day, play test. I actually would have worked out really either way now, even if I did draw a mountain. So that worked out, but now I get to have more red mana uh, for sure. So it worked out really well. All right. Do I just counter this? I think I do. I'm not really sure what the opponent's trying to do, but I'm just... Okay, perfect. Yeah. It, it, with four mana, I don't think he could have got rid of the Desert Doom. So that was, I feel like, the correct decision. This is very awkward for me, I have to say, because I still am playing a little bit like Control E esque with uh, some of the aspects of this deck. So I was a little nervous. I wasn't going to pilot that very well, but it ended up working out. Um, I think there was a time where I might have watched Test of Talents a little too early. I'm not entirely sure, but um, it worked out. Uh, we got a W on the first game, which is surprising, I have to say. Uh, yeah, this hand's great. Um, I think Test of Talents is a very underrated card. Um, I think it's pretty strong in general. Alright, I like what I'm seeing. We'll hold off on the play with fire. Um, looks like it's a creature deck, given that it's Golgari, so... Um, yeah, we got, we're gonna definitely just get that out right now. I mean, it has to. Unfortunately, he does get the treasure because it does ETB. I can't do anything about that. But oh, it's okay. Um, I don't think he's gonna play instant sorcery. Just um, what I've seen so far. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play Magda here. Yep, as suspected. Does teal damage? Unfortunately. Um. Oh gosh. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna create a treasure here and then we'll call it good. Uh, man, Morbid Opportunist. Great card in Limited. Did not expect to run it into in Standard, I'll say that much, so. Um, I may just allow whatever happens to happen. Probably I'm gonna hold up uh, the treasure for mana. Um, so I can hard cast the Goldsman Dragon. Um, I do need double red, so I will need the treasure at some point anyway. Uh, Prismari Command. Oh, Meat Hook and Massacre coming in? Okay. Um, didn't expect that. Um, that's a very early Meat Hook. That kind of is interesting. All right, well, I'm just going to just hard cast and get some treasure. And then I have enough mana to counter an instant or sorcery kill spell. Feels pretty good, I have to say. There we go. So I get another treasure. I'm just going to get rid of all the Infernal Grasp. So that's really, really nice here. Um, it actually doesn't have a whole lot. He has a blonde in the snow, which could be annoying. But Ooh, that was coming up next, was it? He's only playing two. There's a Ren and Seven. More and more. Ancient Green Warden. My goodness. Um, okay. 
Well, I never have to deal with it again, so it's kind of nice. Uh, it's an enchantment. I was like, it's not an artifact. So, all right. Uh, feeling pretty good. Yep, <laughs> definitely not going to block even if I wanted to. Uh, Desert Doom coming in here. It's actually really nice, so I'm going to go ahead and just cast him now. Um, and then I actually get to do multiple things. I could play the Prismari Command or the Pulse of Talon, so we'll kind of see what the uh, choice is here. I may actually counter the Deadly Dispute. I mean, but no, 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 no. Got to counter the Blood on the Snow. I'm, I'm glad I'm talking myself like I'm talking. Because um, <laughs> there are certain times... Yeah, we get the easy one there. There are certain times where I say things and then like I'm like, wait, that's such a bad idea. So I'm glad I say things out loud because, you know, when you talk out loud, it really helps you realize your decisions and whatnot. Um, all right, cool. This deck's doing a lot better than I thought. Um, again, if you're still here watching this stuff, check me out on Twitch. I mean, honestly, that's where the fun is at, I would say. Like, uh, giveaways, all that good stuff. So, yeah. Um, I think I think people enjoy me a lot more on Twitch. I'll just say that much. Um, I think I got a little bit more personality talking with people. And, uh, you know, just doing... I do a lot more goofy stuff, I would say. Like, I just act more goofy, so... Hmm... I think we do keep this. Uh, I have the Magma Opus, so I'm treating that as like more or less a third land here. Um, I have the Mag, and we just read into the Magda, which is pretty nice. So uh, we'll go ahead and just play Magda here. I'm probably gonna, you know, if the opponent has a kill spell, you know, much better to use it on Magda in my opinion, because it's like, all right, that's cool. It's Magda, you know, like. Oh, we're into Jund? Of all things. Uh, expressive Iteration is very nice here, actually. Put one into my hand. Oh, goodness. I can't do Jack Squat this turn. That sucks. Um, okay. Wow. I was not going to draw a land for the next three turns? Really? Really now? Okay. Well, this will most likely be the game <laughs> um oh oh my oh reanimation okay oh shoot that means i have to hold test of talents up oh that is oh no 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 this is bad oh this is very bad um let's see a gold span i guess uh good game i suppose i mean Sometimes there are games like this, and there's really nothing you can do. Uh, but Test of Talents could be the saving grace, right? I mean, it is a good game at the end of the day. There you go. What, what am I going to do? He's so confident that he's discarding um, kill spells. Like, that's where we're at. But Test of Talents... Can't be countered. <laughs> Not that it mattered. I mean, there's nothing I got anyway. So, yeah. Unfortunately, when you don't... Actually, three, four... When you're not going to draw land for six turns and you're stuck on two mana, that's... That's the game. You know, that's similar and limited, too. Sometimes you just... You know, you need that, like, third or fourth land and limited just to function and you're... So, you should get never draw. You're just like, gosh! Ah! But that's okay. All right, I'll get him for one more game here. See how we do. Um, I don't know. That wasn't really a game. <laughs> uh, that always happens. So I, it just happened. All right. Well, that's a it's a very easy decision. Hmm. I think it's Mag. Is it Magda? Oh man, this would have been a perfect seven. Not expressive iteration. Spin dragons, great. Oh, I don't like this. I think it's Test of Talents, though. I really don't like that, though. That's not a great feeling. Double Expressive Iteration. That's not bad. It's not a bad feeling, honestly. 
like we are playing against another is it deck. Uh, looks like I'm gonna get a oh fire. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, oh. so they'll land as well. And we'll pass turn. Oh, I actually should have put the Prismar into my hand because I could have just cast that. That was not a very good decision. But it's fine. We'll end the turn. I don't think I need to play Expressive Iteration right now. Anything that's... Any removal spell that's hitting uh, my Magda as opposed to... Um, I'm gonna actually gonna scry here. Yep, I did get a feeling that was gonna happen, so. Alright, fine. Just gotta get aggressive here. Yeah, so my biggest mistake was I put Prismari back to the library as opposed to. Um, uh, I have to. It feels bad. Yeah, I kind of have to, right? It's a good card. Okay, expressive iteration here. <laughs> um, okay. I guess. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. I saw three lands on top. My goodness. Oh dear. That is another Arms of Prism if I ever saw one. Alright, well, I guess this allows me to do this. Charge! As I don't have a second one, so there's like no point, right? So. Oh, he's Teamer. Oh, no, I'm really confused. Uh, yep, yeah, oh, jeez. Oh, he has a Soul Span Dragon. Hey, you know, I'll take it, right? Charge! I have an army of- I am- I am secretly Mono Red Goblins! Got you! Um, I have Test of Talents up, so... Hey, I actually really don't want to see Auron's Epiphany, by the way. So, no thank you. I will take two more Auron's Epiphanies. And I know that's the fourth one in your hand, because that's always how this game works. So... I actually think I win. Oh my god. I think I win. Oh no, 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 I, I lied. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I do win. I do win. I, uh... Oh my god, <laughs> this is the best feeling ever. Oh my god, dead of the bugbear <laughs> secretly a busted card. <laughs> oh, and that is how you beat Aaron's Epiphany. <laughs> you play Dead of the Bug. No, I'm kidding. Test of Talents. 100%. Test of Talents. Um, holy moly, that was incredible. That was awesome. That is how you play Is It Dragons slash spells. Honestly, that's just my way of playing it. It's more creature heavy, but. You did get to see a side of me. You know, people have said to secretly I am a control player because I'm just like secretly sadistic. I'm afraid they're right, but at the end of the day, I still like big time creatures. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, again, follow me on Twitch, uh, subscribe, like all that good stuff. Um, just want to say thank you all so much for watching. Trying to be more consistent with these, still getting a little bit of projects together um doing stuff outside of work um just a lot of crazy stuff i'm doing recently so um it's kind of like the theme of 2021 2022 almost like just trying to figure out what the heck i'm going to do in the future so uh, continue to support me please um anything helps so yeah thank you all so much for watching i'll see you for the next nerd